It's been nearly three years since one of the most powerful blasts killed dozens and destroyed neighborhoods in the Lebanese capital. The investigation into what caused the explosion has repeatedly been stalled by political pressure. But a surprise decision by the lead judicial investigator, Tariq Bitar, has given back hope to the victims' families. We are surprised by uh, the decision, this decision, and at the same time we are happy because uh, it's not uh, normal from uh, more than one year uh, the investigation is blocked. Now uh, we have a, a little of hope that uh, somebody, is, something is moving on. The lead judge has released a number of detainees and charged new officials and set dates for questioning in February. Among them, heads of security bodies like Major General Abbas Ibrahim and high-ranking judges, including the Prosecutor General Hassan Awaydat. It's a first in a country with a history of impunity. But all indications point to the fact that the political and security establishment won't cooperate. The public prosecution's response was swift. It rejected the implementation of Bitar's release and prosecution orders. We're seeing once again um, the political establishment, uh, you know, uniting to prevent uh, uh, the pursuit of justice in the case of the Beirut blast. We haven't really seen uh, government officials or the judicial officials engage in any serious manner with the legal arguments that Bitar has made, uh, effectively uh, saying blocking the continuation of the investigation and blocking justice. A political campaign against Bitar has been led by the group Hezbollah, who accuses him of bias. The judge has sought to question many of its allies, including a former Prime Minister Hassan Dieb, who has been charged with homicide with probable intent. The decision to resume the investigation has started a legal debate. There was no court order, but Judge Bitar reinstated himself, basing it on legal justifications. He argued a judicial investigator cannot be dismissed or removed, and that his task ends once he issues an indictment in the case. Families of victims haven't stopped their quest for answers and justice. They want to know who brought the ammonium nitrate to Lebanon and who unsafely stored it at the port. It may be a long way for that battle to be won, but the resumption of the probe has already reignited tensions. Senator Al Jazeera, Beirut.